We're going to do a brief video on Alcoa, Alcoa stock review. And we've got a chart here in front of the daily chart of Alcoa Corporation with a green five day moving average, a red 20 day moving average, and a blue 200 day moving average on here. I'm going to go back just a little bit and take a look in the early, well, March 25th, the spring of 2022. And we hit a high of the stock of $98. And from there, we basically fell off a cliff, went straight down to the 200-day moving average and roughly ran into it around May of uh, May 9th, about uh, 2022. Bounced a little bit, followed it for about a month or so, and then broke down finally in a bear market where this stock has remained. You can see that this stock from early May all the way through today, which is September 14th, been in a bear market in this stock. Now, it hadn't been a tremendously horrible bear market. It's gone from start of about 61 and its current low back in July of about, what is that, 39 bucks. So it's not horrible, but it is definitely in a bear market. We're below the 200-day moving average. Right now we're below the 20-day moving average, and we're below the 5-day moving average. Alcoa sold off today uh, 11%. It's down $5 as we speak, and uh, the volume's almost twice what its normal volume is. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon. So Alcoa's not doing great today. Um, and it's, it's, you can see it is in a trading market. It's in a trading range. The, um, the uh, price has been fluctuating here, not really fluctuating, but it's been balanced around 48 bucks roughly. And uh, you can see it's plunging down below that today. So we have a low today of uh, 44 bucks. So keep in mind, that's against a bear market low of 39. So it's not a disaster. It's just this stock's going sideways and you'll notice very uh, importantly, the 200 day moving average is still flat. So what's the stock going to do? And the answer is it's really hard to say. It's coming off a bottom way back here in October of 20. Uh, you know, this was a $10 stock rallied all the way up here, as we said, to a $98 stock. And now it's plummeted back down. So it's hard to say what this stock's going to do. But what it is doing is it's in a bear market. It's going sideways. It's in a trading range. And so there's several things that could happen. The first thing that happened is we could put a bottom in here around $40, $40 $41 here probably by next week. We could do that and then rally back up. And if we get a decent rally and we get above the 20-day moving average and the 5 gets above the 20 Five day moving average uh, gets above the 20 day moving average. We could get back up around here to the 55 level by the second week in October. So that's one scenario. That's probably the most likely scenario a dip down to about 42 and a rally up to in the 55 area. And that would all perhaps unfold, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only over the next month. That's the most likely scenario. However, if this thing gets fired up like it did here previously back in uh, the spring, we could make some serious new lows in this stock. There's not really support from a technical perspective for this stock until about 30 bucks. It's already violated this support level at about 43. So the next support level, and it's not a very good one, is right here at about 30, to call it 31 bucks. So that would be your next target to the downside if this stock breaks through these uh, July 14th lows of 39. So you could get a challenge of your low in the low 30s if we don't get uh, this stock above its 20-day moving average. Right now, it's below the 20-day, below the 5-day, below the 200-day. Uh, it is in a trading range, but again, it hasn't been oscillating. It just went up, and now it's coming back down. So there's no, you know, there's no really feel that this stock will turn around. I have a gut feel that it might turn around, but who knows? It may break right through and put you down into the low 30s for a test of the previous lows, as I just mentioned. So that's where we are on this stock, all for entertainment purposes and all my opinion. I checked earlier, we do not cover Alcoa at RBM Research. I don't know why, but we'll check into it. It's a good stock. Um, but we do cover 190 stocks every morning, Monday through Friday. Uh, by 7 a.m., we put out entry prices, longs only, 1, 5, and 20-day holding periods. These are trading day holding periods, not calendar day. And the way it works is if you were to buy in the one-day holding period category, you buy today, close out at the end of trading, worst case tomorrow, or um Take a profit as soon as you got it. Same thing with the five, same thing for the 20. If you bought the 20 day column, assuming your own analysis says it's a good idea, you could buy in the 20 day column and then hold worst case 20 days, close out at a loss just before trading closed on the 20th trading day, or take your profits sooner if you got them. So that's how these work. Keep in mind they're all for entertainment purposes only. You have to do your own analysis. And um, these are just for your enjoyment and not for necessarily using to get in the markets. If you want to partake of these every morning before 7 a.m., and of course they're there 24 hours a day, we update them at 7 a.m., you can get them absolutely free, no, no uh, credit card required at rbmresearch.com. There's a link in the description below. 
In addition to the 190 stocks, we cover the major Forex pairs, BTC, crypto, and the most liquid futures contracts. Everything but the stocks are longs or shorts. The stocks are long onlys. And um, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do that. If you have a comment on moving averages, either you like them or you don't, please leave a comment for us in the comment section and tell us why you like them or you don't. Keep in mind, everything you've seen or heard on here, including the entry prices and my commentary, is for entertainment purposes only. You can only use it for entertainment and nothing else. You uh, definitely need to do your own analysis and you definitely do trade at your own risk.